Hey YouTube, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here, uh, and I want to do something different today that I haven't done before. I've always known this was going to be part of my channel, but this will be the first book, and uh, I think it's worthy. Uh, this is Muscle and a Shovel, and I want to do a review, uh, or maybe more of a discussion of this book. Uh, there'll be some things maybe from a formal review that I won't have. I'm not going to go into exhaustive uh, discussion of like argumentation and grammar and stuff like that. And the book does some of that stuff in terms of making uh, making the author's point, but uh, it does more than that. It does it better than that because this is a story of the conversion of Michael Shannick, uh, of how he became a Christian and and how that looked. And so it's helpful because it it you know reveals a lot of the thought process, a lot of the emotion, and a lot of the logic that went into his changing his mind about something. And all of us in life uh, need to be examining our beliefs and practices, our values, our morals, and, and maybe changing our mind about some of those things. And so this is a great book in general about how that process can happen. And it's an even better book specifically about Christian conversion and about uh, our approach to God and his word. I want to read you just a short section of the book that kind of reveals the the title of the book and the thrust of the book uh, and does a really good job of doing it. And I think it'll uh, help you re see why the title is Muscle and a Shovel. He says, then it hit me, studying the Bible requires hard work. It takes self-discipline and due diligence. It requires prayerful consideration of the text you're reading along with the remote text of the other books. Reading the Bible isn't a casual read like reading a paperback novel or the daily paper. The Bible is a rich, deep, literary, living gold mine filled with everything that mankind needs for life, eternal life. Studying and understanding the Bible isn't for the lazy. Studying the Bible requires muscle and a shovel. The mental muscle uh, of willingness to use honest intelligence and the shovel to dig deep beyond all our preconceived ideas, our false beliefs, and our comfortable traditions. Studying the Bible takes muscle and a shovel. <clears throat> that ought to help you kind of get a handle on what this book is about and about the author's uh, approach. Uh, he does learn as he goes through the book to to look differently at Bible study. And, and that's a lesson that we would do well, all of us, to learn. Uh, and so this book, I'm going to give you some of the characteristics of it. The book gives you insight into the mind of someone who's honestly investigating religious truths. And that that's a pretty cool notion all on its own. Uh, because all of us, again, have to investigate religious truths, or we should be investigating religious truths, and, and thinking long and hard about what we believe and why we believe that. Uh, and so this is really neat because the author includes in here. And sometimes, you know, as he's telling the story, uh, it does get a little choppy because he'll stop and say, look, this is what was going on in my mind. Uh, this is what was going on in my heart. This is what was going on in you know, my, my reasoning through this process. And uh, although I think that stuff belongs and it works out really, really well, uh, you just have to know that the story isn't, isn't this smooth flowing story. Uh, it wasn't designed to be that. It was designed to reveal the mind of someone who is uh, considering uh, how they understand God and the Bible and all those things. And so the book will come along to go through the story and then it'll stop and tell you, you know, here's what was going on in my mind at the time. Here's what I was thinking. Here's conversations I had with my wife and my friends. And uh, it's pretty interesting that way because it kind of, uh, a lot of times you feel yourself identifying with the author, having gone through a very similar process, uh, whether it be in terms of your conversion or whether it be some other aspects, some other uh, part of your religious life. You know, I've changed my mind on lots of things as I've grown and matured and learned, uh, and uh, a similar process to the author's has taken place, no question. Now, there are even some places along the lines where he gets a little more involved and goes into maybe a, a brief word study about the meaning of a Greek word or some Greek grammar, or goes into, you know, some argumentation pertaining to uh, what he's telling us. And he does that because he wants us to keep up with him. He does that so that as you're reading the book, you don't sort of fall behind or you don't miss something that uh, he got at the time and feels like is important. So uh, 
in addition to the fact that he'll stop and tell us kind of what he's thinking about, he'll also include some, some solid reasoning that can help us, I would suggest, as we maybe talk with people about Scripture or as we experience uh, growth and learning in our own lives. Uh, this is a great book for anyone who sincerely... Now, now, this is a qualifier that you really, really need to hear. This is a book for people who sincerely want to pursue biblical Christianity, who want to know the God revealed in Scripture, uh, and are going to do what it takes to, to know that God. One of the things you need to understand is in, in any honest pursuit of truth, you may find things that are very difficult for you. You may find things that require you to change the way you're living, the way you're thinking, and that's uncomfortable. Uh, I'm going to read you uh, a comment made by uh, one reviewer who's Baptist in their background. He says, This story provoked me on spiritual levels I didn't know existed. Everyone who reads this book should be prepared to fight or flee. Muscle and a Shovel is one of those rare books that will raise your blood pressure. You'll either give it to everyone you know or put it in a shredder. There's no middle ground. And so that's what I'm trying to say about if you're going to read this book, I recommend reading it, but be prepared for a bit of an emotional roller coaster. Be prepared to feel some frustration, maybe some challenges, to read things that you didn't know and maybe don't want to accept. Uh, but the author makes a compelling case for them, and so you, you'll have to think about that. Uh, this book, to give you some, some general characteristics, it, it's very honest. The author just kind of tells us what's going on. And that's that's a pretty neat way to approach conversion. Uh, it's it's touching. There's an emotional component. There's an emotional component to our relationship with God, no question. And that emotional component is not lost on uh, the presentation that Michael Shank gives. And this book is revealing. Uh, the author certainly reveals a lot of his heart and a lot of his mind. And we need to appreciate him for doing that. But Along with that, this book is going to be revealing to of, of your heart and your mind. You're going to feel uncomfortable. You're going to feel challenged. And so that's my review of Muscle and a Shovel by Michael Shank. I've got to give this book a, a high recommendation. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's well written, uh, well put together, and I would recommend it for anyone uh, with this warning. Be prepared. Be prepared for... Uh, some challenges. Be prepared to think through some things that maybe you believe or don't believe uh, and, and will be challenged about. That's my take on Muscle and a Shovel. I do plan to put some more book reviews up here, so please make some comments about this, things that you'd like to see added, things you'd like to see taken away, uh, and I can use that and kind of make these videos a little more suited to what people are looking for.